May God crown you with a crown of glory. In a time when the only way to rule was to be born into a rule or to take it by force, there was a great danger in being king. The moment a ruler took his seat on the throne, his life was in jeopardy. Some survived, some built empires and dynasties and died old. In their sleep, on silk sheet lined with gold, but others weren't so lucky. A handful of rulers only ever managed to keep their power for a few days or even hours and left behind nothing but the incredible tragedy of their brief lives. Here are top 10 most shortest reigns of rulers in the world history. If you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe, share, like and comment in the section below so you won't miss out any content like this. Number 10. Prince Milan Obrenovic II, 26 days. Prince Milan Obrenovic II ruled Serbia for 26 days, and according to most accounts, he didn't have any idea that he was in power. He was sick in his entire life. It seemed to be a family case. He was his parents' sixth child, but the first who had been healthy enough to survive childhood. By the time he turned 20, he was completely bedridden. But to his parents who had already lost five children, he was still the miracle boy. Milan's father, Milos, abdicated the throne in 1839 and named his sickly son ruler of Serbia. But his son, who was dying of pneumonia, didn't even understand what was happening. He didn't sign a single document or give a single rule the entire time. He was too sick to get out of bed or even grabs deliberately of what had happened to him. It is said that he seemed to think his father was just on a trip and would ask people when he would return. On the 26th day of his reign, Milan succumbed to his illness and died in his bed. He was 20 years old when he died in his mother's arm. Number 9. Gordian I and Gordian II, 21 days. In the year 238 AD, Romans saw six empires rise and five of them fall. Every reign that year was brief, but none shorter than the reign of Gordian I and Gordian II, the men who ruled the empire as father and son. Gordian I insisted his son ruled with him. The Senate had asked him to rule alone, but the elderly Gordian was an old man already 80 years old, and his son more important to him than anything on earth. He brought his son with him in everything he did. When he became proconsul of Africa, he made his son his right-hand man. And when he was made emperor, he refused to rule without his boy. Gordian's demand was an act of love from a doting father, but it would end costing his own son's life. 21 days after the pair took control of Rome, a rebel army attacked Gordian II in Carthage, where they overran his man and killed him in battle. Gordian I had lost the light of his life. He was an 80-year-old man who had outlived his son. As soon as he heard the news, he retreated to his room then hung the belt around his neck and ended his own life. Such a terrible tragedy. Number 8. Lady Jane Grey, 9 days. Lady Jane Grey never expected to become queen. She was just a 15-year-old girl, the cousin of the king but only fourth in the line of succession. And yet, four days after the death of King Edward VI, in 1553, she was awakened with the news that she was to rule England. Edward VI was supposed to pass his crown to his sister, Mary, but he was a devout Protestant and wouldn't stand to see his Catholic sister take power. 
and two days before his death, he wrote a will appointing Jean Grey his successor. Lightning a spark that will ignite England into chaos, Mary rose an insurrection against her cousin almost immediately. Nine days after her coronation, Lady Jane Grey was thrown in prison for high treason. She was sentenced to be burned alive on Tower Hill or beheaded as the Queen pleases. It took a year for the Queen's order to come in, but when it did, they took Jane's husband first. She had to watch as Mary's men dragged him out of her room, cut off his head and rolled his corpse out on the cart. When it was her turn, she seemed to be brave for a moment. She recited a psalm asking God for mercy and when the executioner asked her for forgiveness, she simply asked him to make her death quick. She didn't panic until blindfolded. She was ordered to put her head on the block and in that fit of irrationality that comes with fear became terrified that she couldn't find it and cried out what shall i do where is it the deputy lieutenant of tower hill led her to her place and the executioner did what she asked him to do number seven came to online seven days Ton Lan was 15 years old when he was appointed king of Ayutthaya, an ancient kingdom in Thailand for one brief week. He was the most powerful man in the nation, but he didn't have time to do anything burn, mourn, and then die. In 1388, Ton Lan's father, Brahmachatra, his first got sick and died en route to a battle. In a matter of days, Ton Lan was forced to deal with the news that his father would never be coming home so he would have to rule in his place. Shortly after that, an army was coming to kill him. A local ruler from Shionama's army had marched them to the kingdom of Ayutthaya. The moment he heard that young Ton Lan was on the throne, and within days he was at the door of his palace. Ton Lan had never done anything to Ramesion. In fact, by all accounts, Ramesion and his father had been friends. Ramesion didn't hesitate for a second before taking his friend's young son's life. Ramesion had Tong Lan dragged out of a Buddhist temple, wrapped in a velvet sack and beaten to death with a club just seven days after his father's death. Number 6. King John I, Five Days King John I is the only French king that spent his entire life as the uncontested ruler of France. But he was only king for five days. King John I was the only male son of King Louis X. But when Louis died on June 5, 1316, he was still in his mother's womb. Rather than complicate the line of succession, the French rulers decided to wait until John was born and make him king. And so, from the moment he was born on November 5, he was a sovereign ruler of France. King John I, however, lived in a time when child deaths were rampant. As royalty, he had a better chance than most but it was enough. The baby saw five days of life and left the world. There were conspiracy theories about his death, that he had been murdered by his godmother or his uncle, or even that he has been replaced with a commonest baby and lived out a full life as an unknown merchant, but there is no proof that any of them are true. Number 5. Dipendra of Nepal, 3 days one of the shortest rain happened just 22 years ago. It was a brief but horrid reign of Dipendra of Nepal, the boy king who massacred his own family. On June 1, 2001, Dipendra arrived at a family party so drunk that he could barely walk and ready to fight. He went straight into arguing with his father, furiously that he and his mother were trying to discourage him from marrying a woman he loved. He left in ferry and came back armed with multiple automatic weapons. And to everyone's horror, he opened fire on them all, starting with his father. He went wild and started shooting whoever came in front of him. A survivor of the massacre, Dr. Shashi, told the New York Times how many weapons he used. He said, I'm not sure. I didn't count, and it was too fast. Dipendra murdered his father, his mother, his brother, 
his sister and five other members of the royal family before turning his weapon and shooting himself in the head. Nobody knows for sure why he did it. Some say it was because his parents tried to stop his wedding, while others find it all so unbelievable that they have built conspiracy theories saying Dipendra was framed. But Dipendra's friend says that in the years before the massacre, his mental health was slipping. Dipendra was on antidepressants and friends had expressed that he needed help. The bullet he turned on himself killed him slowly. Instead of dying right away, Dipendra slipped into coma for three days before he stopped breathing. The man who killed the royal family was crowned king for three days while he was unconscious. Number 4 Sultan Said Khalid bin Bakaj Two Days The shortest-lived Sultan of Zanzibar saw his reign and met an abrupt end in history's shortest war. On August 25, 1896, Said Khalid bin Bakaj ascended to the throne of Zanzibar and almost immediately was ordered to step down. The British Empire saw Said as a difficult ruler. They wanted someone more willing to bend to their will in charge and so calling on a treaty that requires Zanzibar to get permission from the British before naming anyone Sultan. They demanded Said give up his palace. Soon after he failed to give up, the British Navy was outside his palace, ordering him to hold down his flag and leave. They gave him until 9 o'clock on August 27 to comply, or the palace would be destroyed. When Said refused, the British opened fire. For about 38 minutes, they shelled this palace engulfing it into flames and killing 500 people in the process. Before the Sultan's men surrendered, it was the shortest war in history and with it ended on the shortest reign in the history of Zanzibar. Number 3. Menchin Sa, 18 hours. Menchin Sa spent his life in exile. He was cast out of his home country of Pagan and in modern Myanmar by his father in 1152 after he criticized him for marrying a foreign woman. But even though his father had kicked him out, he had never stopped working to impress him. In exile, he took control of the land he had settled in and made it more prosperous than it had been before. He set up dams and canals that tripled their harvest and developed a focus on education that drew in some of the greatest minds. But when his father died in 1167, Minchin didn't hesitate to take up his responsibility to the people of Pagan. He left his land behind and returned to what had once been his kingdom to take the throne. He returned home where his younger brother, Naratu, pronounced him king. What Minchin didn't know, though, was that Naratu was after the throne. He had already smoothed his father in his sleep with Beshit. Menchin Sal didn't make it through the night. While he slept, his brother poisoned him, wiping out the last person standing in the way of the throne. Number 2. Sir Michael the Second, 16 hours. Michael the Second woke up on the morning of March 15, 1917 to learn that his brother had abdicated the throne and named him Sir. It wasn't a great gift. In 1917, the Russian Revolution was already in swing and Michael knew no emperor would last long. And so he did what every person on this list ought to have done. He gave up the throne. Michael declared that he would only take power if he was elected by universal sovereign and stepped down within 16 hours of being proclaimed sir. Then he returned to his villa and hoped for a simple life. It didn't work out. He was arrested shortly after abdicating the throne and kept on house arrest for a year. Then on June 12, 1918, a member of the secret police named Gravel Machnikov broke into his house, forced him into a carriage, rode him out into the forest and shot him. Michael's secretary and closest friend, Nicholas Johnson, was dragged out and shot with him. Johnson was shot first. When they shot Michael, he was reaching out to his wounded friend, trying to give him comfort as he died. Number 1. 
Impression, less than five hours. Nobody knows Impression's full name. Nobody ever wrote it down. All that is recorded was that she was the only child of Emperor Isami, and that for a few hours in 528 AD, she ruled China. She was never anything more than a puppet in her grandmother's game. When she was born, her father was already in ill health, and her grandmother, Empress Dawaga Ho, was determined to stay in power. And so, to make sure the succession would fall to Baby Yang, she told the world that the baby was a boy. Empress Yang was only 50 days old when her father died and she was named Rula. And immediately, her grandmother used her power to replace her with another child she could control, a three-year-old named Yan So. The plan worked out in a sense, but it infuriated the nation. The people revolted against Empress Dawaga Ho almost immediately. The baby she manipulated were killed with her. Empress Dawaga Ho and three-year-old Yun Su was dragged out of the castle and drawn in the Yellow River. And everyone connected to her, some 13,000 people in all, were slaughtered in a horrific massacre. Only 83 names of the 13,000 killed were ever recorded. We can say for sure what happened to Empress Yan, but Empress Little Girl was never heard from again.